Right, I'm going to make a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I do my aerials. Um, basically, what an aerial is, is a cartwheel without any hand, so it's a free cartwheel. So if you cartwheel to your left, the chances are you're going to do an aerial to the left. If you cartwheel to the right, chances are you're going to do an aerial to the right. So, first things first, best thing to learn is a cartwheel. Now with the cartwheel, you want to start off facing in one direction, and then land facing the direction that you came in. Something like this. Right, the second step after the cartwheel is to do a one-handed cartwheel. But you do a one-handed cartwheel with your first hand. So if you cartwheel to the left, you put your left hand down first, and leave the right hand in the air and land as you would a normal cartwheel. Then the step after that would be, is instead of putting your first hand down, you put your second hand down. So it looks something like this. Now this requires a little bit more speed than a normal cartwheel because you've really got to whip your legs round. So you've really got to whip and push that back leg over and back down to the floor. Then the next step would be to advance that. So you put your hands down less and less every time. So you get quicker and quicker, you whip your legs round more, you jump off more with that leading leg. You kick up more with your back leg. Looks something like this. Now, when you do your aerial, what you want to make sure is your left leg really pushes and jumps up into the air. And your right leg kicks up and swings as high as it can before your left leg leaves the ground. So if your right leg's here, it's going to go all the way over the top and land on the floor. But if your right leg is higher up, like this, before you take off, you've only got half of that distance to go before your leg hits the floor again. So you've really got to lift with your left leg, lift up with your right leg, jump. Remember, it's all about the jump. You can't just go into it like a top. You've really got to jump with that back leg. Push it around. Yes! <laughs> uh, one quick thing I want to mention with the aerials as well is uh, if you find it a little bit difficult to do it from standing or do it from a run, you can always try it with a little bit of a spin. Uh, I'll demonstrate one of those for you now. Right, so hopefully that helped you out a bit with your aerials. Um, give it a go. If you want, post a video response, check it out, um, and I'll comment on it. Also, aerial's not the end of it. Once you've done an aerial, you can try reverse aerials, you can try aerial twists, aerial switches, so it really opens up a load of doors to different tricks. Uh, so thanks for watching.